Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. It's time for um, another weekly menu video. So uh, we have been using our menu card box for, I don't know, several months? I'm not sure. Anyways, we've been using it for a while. And um, I wanted to mention something that I've been noticing pretty much since the beginning that I've been using it, but more so in the last few weeks. And that is the um, money savings that's been happening. So before I started planning our um, suppers this way, I'm going to estimate that I spent anywhere from like 100 to $175 a week at the grocery store. Um, I also, I shop once a month at Walmart for, I don't actually get a ton of food, no, sort of. I get some food, yeah, I don't know. Here I am rambling. I get some food at Walmart. Um, we also order some things from uh, an, like an organic food place. Um, they ship it by truck. We get stuff from there once a month. Um, there's another kind of a bulk food place that uh, we get food from sometimes on a monthly basis. It's like a monthly order type thing. It's not organic. It's just kind of bulk stuff. Um, but where I get most of our like fresh fruits and vegetables and meats and you know just fill in type things um, I get at a weekly trip to the grocery store here in our um, small town so it's just a very small store it's got um, four aisles I think and they're you know small anyways it's just not a very large grocery store so I would spend about, you know, like I said, $100, $275 a week. It depended on what was on sale because if there was something on sale that I know we would eat a lot of or we eat regularly um, and is a good price, I would um, stock up. So I might buy a case or two cases of something which would put me at the higher end of that spending. And if there wasn't th sale things that I was stocking up on, I would be more towards the lower end of that situation. So I've noticed, I feel like I got a hair here. Anyways, I've noticed that over the time that I started doing my menus this way, that that amount that I was spending was just kind of slowly coming down until the last two weeks, not, not this shopping day I just had, but the two weeks before that, I only spent $50 um, on our groceries for the week. So just buying the fresh stuff that we needed and adding to um, what we already had in the pantry, just adding to that for whatever our suppers and, you know, what we needed for lunches and things like that. But it was, I was doing the same type of shopping that I've always done. It's just that um, I think because I'm planning better, I guess, I maybe am spending less. So I was very surprised to have it be down to $50. Now this week I spent $90, um, but I did get uh, soup was on sale. So I bought 75 cans of soup at 59 cents each. So I'm not sure how much that was. I didn't look at my receipt to see what the, you know, breakdown of the $90 was. I could do the math, but it's probably, I'll just sit here looking silly trying to do it in my head real fast. So anyways, um, without that, even with that, I'm still like coming in basically at half of what I had been spending, um, prior to implementing my menu card box. So that I find super exciting because that's not a benefit I was looking for. The reason I started or I came up with this whole system was just to, I wanted to basically incorporate a lot more variety because I tended to keep making the same things over and over, even though I knew how to make more things. It's just, I wasn't necessarily planning ahead. So I would just fall back on things that everybody liked or, you know, I tried to write out a menu for a whole week or a month at a time, but I didn't feel like it was very flexible if things changed and it just took a lot of brain power every time to do it. So I would procrastinate and I didn't like that. So I've been doing, or I came up with this idea of just putting all my menu ideas, including side dishes on the note cards and then just cycling through them, you know, as we use one, it goes to the back of the box kind of a thing. And it's just made life so much simpler. And I like the flexibility. So last week I had planned um, one of my cards for Friday night, which it's Friday night now, so it was last Friday night. But Asher really wanted chicken Alfredo. That's one of actually almost everybody's favorite. So instead of doing what we had planned for the night, I already had stuff on hand for chicken Alfredo. So I made that instead. 
but nothing goes to waste because the dinner that was card, you know, the card that was up just got postponed till the next night. So it's very simple and I really like that. So what was the other change I made? Oh, the lasagna. We were going to have lasagna last week, um, but Tom was not going to be home or he wasn't going to be eating with this on the night that it came up. So I switched that card with the one behind it, which was homemade oatmeal, because I figured Tom would enjoy eating lasagna more than he would eating the homemade oatmeal. So the lasagna is actually still coming up, even though that was part of last week's menu cards, because um, Wednesday, I think, would have been when it would, when it would have happened. So then Thursday... I'll, I guess I'll just start in here. Thursday, we always have pizza on Thursdays. Tom always makes pizza for us. And then tonight would have been lasagna night. Um, but I decided we really had a bunch of leftovers in the free, uh, refrigerator. So I decided we're just not going to use a card tonight. And we cleaned out the refrigerator basically for supper. So now lasagna and garlic bread and salad, corn and ice cream are going to be on the menu for tomorrow night, which is Saturday. Then Sunday, I forgot to look again to see what our Sunday lunch is, but we always have a potluck on Sundays with whoever comes for church. So I don't plan a Sunday supper because everybody already had a big lunch and so we just kind of do a make your own supper type thing on Sunday nights or clean out the fridge type thing. So then Monday we are going to have another one of their favorites at this house which is steak and ramen noodles and mandarin oranges. So I just um, broil some steaks and I uh, slice them up kind of like fajita type things. I still feel like I have a hair. I don't know. Anyways, so we eat those together. That's one of the kids' absolute favorite things. And um, I actually might add a salad to that also because that just seems like that would be good together. Um, then Tuesday will be tacos because we always have tacos on Tuesday. And then Wednesday um, is actually going to work out good. We're having chicken and noodles on Wednesday. Um, green beans and applesauce. So we're actually going to be having a field trip on Wednesday. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll probably start the chicken the night before. I have a ninja slow cooker thing, so I'll probably um, cook the chicken the night before and then shred it in the morning and then I can let it just simmer all day while we are gone on our field trip and then it'll be ready when we get home, which will be really great. So that's the plan for our menu for this week. And then, oh, I should tell you too, I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you the pictures, some of the pictures of some of the things that we had um, this past week for um, supper, but we have been doing for all my all my homeschool mom friends, and actually some of them don't even homeschool, but my mom friends come over on Mondays, and we have what we call mom school, and we do different courses together, and right now we're doing a cooking course that came from The Great Courses, so it's thegreatcourses.com is their website, and it's I can't remember the name exactly, but it's something about the, the lost art of cooking. So that's the class we're taking right now. Um, if you watched our school vlog thing, you saw a little bit of it, but I have really been enjoying that. So this past week, our lesson was on dry heat cooking with fat. And so um, I made some fried pears to go with our homemade oatmeal this week based on kind of the ideas which I know how to fry things but I just I guess I'm just thinking in a different way so I'm really excited about it so I fried up the pears and then I made a caramel sauce without a recipe I was so proud of myself so I made the caramel sauce based on like the techniques the guy was showing in the um, little class that we took and the kids loved it it was really good and I had mine on my oatmeal the kids like chocolate chips on their oatmeal so they had their pears and caramel sauce on the side and then chocolate chips on their oatmeal but I just had mine right on my oatmeal and it was really good and I was super excited so that is really neither here nor there but I wanted to tell you about it it was awesome so here are the pictures of last week's food and we will talk to you guys again soon